unexplained sea monsters that could actually exist. Sea monsters are beings from folklore believed to dwell on the sea and often imagined to be of immense size. They appear in folklore worldwide and many people have stated- Isn't that a Subnautica drawing? They've witnessed a sea monster firsthand. So let's count down five sea monsters that could actually exist. HMS Deadless was a 19th century warship of the Royal ah, yes. Navy. She was launched as a 5th grade frigate of 46 guns of the modified leader class in 1826, but never commissioned in that role, being roofed over and then laid up in reserve. I love that the, most of the sea monster stories are from 1800s, <laughs> where you could have no photo evidence, you could have maybe a couple people that had like a story or something like that, even if it realistically happened. You have a very lack of knowledge of species and science, so you have frequent misidentification. You have, you know, outdated historical records. But the guy is British and he speaks calmly, therefore everyone's going to believe him. Captain McQuay of the Daedalus and several of his officers and crew saw a sea serpent which was reported in the Times. The vessel sighted what they named as an enormous serpent between the Cape of Good Hope and St. Helena. The serpent was witnessed to have been swimming with four feet of its head above the water, and they believed there was another 60 feet of the creature in the sea. Its color four feet of his head above the water, 60 feet below the ocean. So like, this like out of the water head, and then under, that doesn't even make sense physics wise. How would a fish stick or a snake stick its head out of the water while swimming underwater? It like stiffened its neck? and then is swimming with just the back? I don't get it. The captain also said the creature passed rapidly, but so close that a man of his acquaintance should have easily have recognized the creature's features with the naked eye. According to seven members of the crew, it remained in view for around 20 minutes. Another officer wrote that the Didn't creature- Didn't they say that it passed extremely quickly? And then someone said it was around for 20 minutes? That is not extremely quickly. That's it? Okay. Over the past few years, ah, rumors yes, have circulated Ningen. in Japan about the existence of Arctic humanoid life forms inhabiting the icy waters of the Antarctic, reportedly observed on multiple occasions by crew members of whale research ships. These ninjen are said to be completely white in colour with an estimated length of 20 to 30 metres. Are they just beluga whales? Do beluga whales venture into the Arctic? I don't know my whales very well, but this kind of just looks like a beluga whale to me that was misidentified. Sometimes they are described as having fins or a large mermaid-like tail instead of legs or even tentacles. A mermaid-like tail? Don't mermaids have whale tails? Ninja sightings seem to occur most frequently. <laughs> Amogus. <laughs> belugas are primarily in the Arctic? Okay, so it would make sense to me that people who don't know what belugas are or you catch a weird angle of a beluga would probably assume that... Um, if you saw one, that it could potentially be Ningen. In any case, no convincing photographs have been made public, either because they do not exist, oh. or because, as some argue, the government does not want to invite undue scrutiny and tarnish the scientific reputation of the whale research program. If they... Is his argument the government wouldn't want to tell you because they don't want to discredit the whale research teams, but if that was real, then they wouldn't be discrediting them. They'd actually have discovered something new and it would add credibility to the whale research teams. So the only actual conclusion is it's not real. <laughs> but they have released no information to the public and have reportedly instructed eyewitnesses to remain silent. No, they haven't. It is crazy to think that there's some guy in the government whose job is to write down Ningen sightings. Oh yeah, you were on a whale research trip and you saw a beluga whale or a weirdly shaped ice flow? Add it to my notebook, don't fucking tell anybody. Champ is Lake Champlain's answer to the Loch Ness Monster. Classic. Ever since a railroad crew first reported spotting the head of an enormous serpent sticking out of the water in 1819, reports of a long neck sea monster have been coming out of Lake Champlain. Legends of a creature living in the lake- <laughs> I love this one. I love this one because it makes zero sense with their swimming mode. Having this much of their body stuck out of the water just makes zero sense. And you could draw this and paint in literally three seconds. It even looks like it has an outline. Like you just draw like a blurred black line and then just... It's so easy to do this. Although there have been over 300 reports of champ sightings, including some by law enforcement officials and entire crews of ships, scientists haven't been able to prove champ exists. Well, nowadays we have eDNA, so we can actually potentially do this. If you don't know what eDNA is, basically you can connect, collect genetic information from the environment in like water. Because as like, you know, fish lose scales and 
other things in the water just like lose tiny pieces of themselves genetics you know dna gets everywhere and so you can sample a certain part of the water and you will have just a collection of all like the little parts of dna of all the things that live there so using eDNA, you can actually tell what's living in a place so we could actually you know collect water in lake champlain and see how many you know dna we find that does not match up with uh, you know known species we would have to have all of the you know genomes of the species that we know are in their sequence first which i'm sure we don't but if we could do that it'd be pretty easy to prove that there isn't something there the bloop sound was heard over 3,000 miles away the bloop is a mysterious ultra low frequency sound originating in the south pacific how do you know the unknown DNA is a sea monster? You don't. You would just find DNA that you can't, you know, sufficiently match up to, you know, genomes that you've already encoded. And you would say, OK, well, this is a, this is a species that is not described or has not been, you know, the DNA of the species has not been sequenced. And you could compare it to other living things like people say that. Um, like the Loch Ness Monster or like Champagne Mon Champ or whatever is like a, a plesiosaur that's still alive or something like that. Well, you could take the closest living relative of a plesiosaur and see if that genetic information is more closely related to that relative of the plesiosaur than it is to say, I don't know, a common fish that potentially might have just not been undiscovered. And then you'd be very easily able to determine. Some say that it may be an ice quake created by the calving of a massive iceberg of the Antarctic coast. Others speculate that it Bloop. could have been made by a gigantic creature. In the Wasn't it absolutely like 100% determined to be ice falling, like cracking and falling into the water? Iceberg scraping across the seafloor? Yep. Okay. I mean, I'm not a sonar person. I don't know absolutely anything about sound, but... Um, I mean, if there are people who have determined, you know, through normal scientific methods that it is an iceberg scraping along the bottom, then I don't see that there's any reason not to believe them. Okay, no animal makes a sound like that. That doesn't even make sense. Those high-pitched noises just don't, yeah. God damn. That's it? Okay. Yeah, definitely not an animal. Okay. <laughs> it looks like number one is the fucking Kraken. According to stories, this huge mini-armed creature could reach as high as the top of a sailing ship's main mast. A Kraken would attack a ship by wrapping their arms around the hull and capsizing it. <laughs> the crew would drown. So said me when I'm hangry. <laughs> the, just the... It just sounds like you're slowly opening a really creaky door. It'd be an ins that's like so long for that to be an animal sound. On at least three occasions in the 1930s, they reportedly attacked a ship. A massive 60 foot giant squid that washed ashore in New Zealand in the late 1800s. Why would they attack a ship? What does a squid get out of attacking a ship? Don't they eat like fish and stuff? Like, what, what do they get out of attacking the wood of a ship? And squids aren't exactly like higher intelligence organisms. I mean, they're not dumb. But like, there's no way they have the long con of I sink ship, I eat people on ship, or I eat the fish that the people have. Like, what motivation is there? It's suggests there may be massive squids lurking in the depths of our seas. Splinters. So that was five sea monsters that. Their motivation is splinters. They use the wood to make their nests. I see. Ah, uh, these are very good explanations. Thank Whoa. you.